Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss an easy way to make it quiet when you're doing YouTube recordings. This video would be suitable for musicians like my friend Randy from Howling Lobster or just a YouTuber like myself. It really is Murphy's Law. The second you hit record, someone will flush a toilet, the furnace will come on, the kid will scream, hot water tank comes on, everything seems to be in chaos until you hit the recording button again. Then it all seems to get quiet. Let's use Home Assistant to shut off any appliance that makes noise while you're doing your recording so you have a nice clean audio track. Like most things, with a plan, you can plan for success. So, what we need to do is, first of all, identify the noisemakers, preferably the ones that you can control, obviously not children. Second step, build or buy switches so that you can turn them on and off through automations. The third step, make a network attached switch, not a network attached storage unit, a switch. Or you can use a Lovelace button to activate the automation. Next step, install in Home Assistant. What we need to do is configure that NAS or Lovelace button so that it can activate the automation. Finally, you need to create the actual automations that turn things on and off at will. A few years ago, a company called Staples created a button called the Easy Button. It did nothing more than say, that was easy when you pressed it. Well, you can very quickly take that apart, rip out the guts and put in your own ESP8266, which wakes up on press, sends an MQTT message, and wakes up Home Assistant so that it does an automation. Once the automation fires, you can have Home Assistant turn on and off your Tasmoda switches, your Wi-Fi relays, and of course you can have Amazon Echo or Google announce things, like warning your wife that you are about to record, so she can try and keep things quiet. Sandra, Stephen is recording YouTube videos. That was easy. Sandra, the recording is finished. Okay, the way this works is when you press a button, the button is set up to send an MQTT message of on to Home Assistant. Home Assistant can then check an input Boolean variable called recording to see whether you're in recording mode or not. Based on that, it will send out MQTT messages to the lights, the sawn off switches, the electronic sign, whatever we've got enabled for this situation. Once you press the button again, Home Assistant reacts in the opposite. It turns everything off. Now that you know how it works, I'm going to show you the code. The code is stored in several YAML files that control Home Assistant. 
Everyone's YAML file will be different. This is because everyone's home is different and the contents of the home are different. You have different switches, different relays, different buttons. So you can use mine as a boilerplate or template and adapt it to your own purposes. Now that you've seen this work, here's the nasty bits, the coding part. First of all, I keep track of a recording state and it's an input boolean variable called recording in the input boolean.yaml file. That keeps track of whether or not we are recording. In the binary sensors, I'm keeping track of the button. And the button just sends out an on or an off. The automations simply react to the button switch. And you can see them here. I'll try to put these in the comments below. If it's too many text characters, then uh, you'll just have to freeze the video and type it in. But it really is that simple. All we do is, for the recording, the trigger is the button. When it goes on, it sets the, it checks to see if the input Boolean is off. If it is, then it starts saying, okay, we're going to make it quiet. So my Google Home Mini says, that was easy. My media player up in the living room tells my wife that I'm recording. I then go into recording mode for my LED sign. I switch off the water heater. I turn the light to red. When I'm not recording, the reverse happens. It comes along, it says, let the noise begin down here. It tells my wife that I'm finished. It sends to my sign, the recording mode is off. The light turns on, but it goes to white and then it turns off. So my wife knows what's going on. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer. And as always, if you think this is a value, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, maybe hit the subscribe button. Thank you.